Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with Open Source Systems. Uh, today's screencast is 006, the Windows 7 VirtualBox installation. So what we're going to do is we're going to use VirtualBox to create yet another virtual machine and we're going to install Windows 7 on this virtual machine. Uh, it's going to be a good screencast. The Windows 7 installation is pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're just going to take you step by step, but most of this is just going to be fast forward through, through this process. Uh, to start us off, what I did is I took my virtual or my Windows 7 installation media, put it in my DVD ROM here, so you can see that uh, in my actual Mac. I inserted physically inserted the installation CD into my Mac. Uh, next, what we're going to do is in VirtualBox, go ahead and click New to create a new virtual machine. We're going to call this Windows 7. You can see that virtual machine, uh, VirtualBox, and Get, uh, selects Windows 7 for us, but make sure uh, you have the version right. You can choose either between 32-bit or 64. I have a 64-bit insta installer, so I'm going to select 64-bit here. So make sure that that's correct. Uh, for your memory size, I'm going to allocate 4 gigs or 4096 uh, worth of memory. I usually suggest about between a quarter and a half of your host machine. So I have 16 gigs, so I'm going to use a quarter of that, which is 4 gigs. Uh, create a virtual hard drive, make sure that is selected, then click create. Uh, for this uh, virtual hard drive, we're going to select the file location for it. Uh, make sure that's selected. I'm going to uh, go over here to my folder. I usually put put this in dev VM. We have a Win7 folder here. I'm going to call this Win7. Click save. Now for the size of my virtual hard drive, I'm going to make it 100 gigabytes. Uh, choose VDI for virtual box disk image and just make sure that dynamically allocated is set. Click create and we should be good to go. Just make sure that if you do have a 64-bit version of Windows 7 that you have a little 64 uh, icon up here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start this virtual machine. Uh, it will be pointing to our actual installation medium so we really don't have to do anything there. If I hit the start button it'll ask me where it wants to point to I'm going to say my host drive, which is correct. Click Start. Now VirtualBox will start with that installation medium. And the Windows 7 installer comes up. OK, once that boots up, you'll notice that the installer is a bit different than the Windows XP installer. Uh, you do select your language and your keyboard. Select Next. Click install now. And like I said, most of this process is pretty self-explanatory. Close these here. Okay, go ahead and click accept the license terms if you accept those. Uh, we are going to um, do this one and uh, select our 100 gigabyte virtual hard drive that we created. Select next. Okay, now Windows will start to do its thing. It begins by copying the files over and uh, doing its install. So we're going to fast forward this. Why don't you have to sit here and watch all this go? Okay, awesome. So once you get to this part, your virtual machine should automatically restart. Okay, so once again, uh, Windows 7 does its thing and we'll restart. All right, once you get to this part here, hopefully it didn't take you too long, uh, we'll go ahead and finish the installation. So really Windows 7 is a one-click install. Uh, we're going to type the username here, which is going to be Chad Cravens. Now again, the computer name uh, for the Windows XP, we chose WinXP. This one we're going to just call Win7. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and type my password here. Uh, for password hint. Okay, this is where I'm going to type my product key.
You can go ahead and leave this checked here. Click next. Uh, you can say go ahead and use recommended settings uh, for this time. Go ahead and set your time appropriately. Uh, go ahead and just say I'm on a work network. And that's about it. The seven, the Windows 7 installation is a lot more simple than the XP. Uh, they made it a lot more streamlined. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to let the system finish up its first uh, setup. We're going to shut it down. We're going to create a vanilla snapshot as we do with all of our systems on initial install. And then we are going to install the guest editions. <clears throat> okay, great. Once you get to this point, that is the final installation. So you notice here that we have mouse, poise, mouse pointer integration. So I can just seamlessly go back and forth between my VM and my host machine there. Uh, so that's, that's good news. We'll go ahead and close that alert. We'll go ahead and try to resize this, but you'll notice that the screen does not resize. So we have to install guest editions for that. But we're going to go down here and just shut down the machine. Uh, by clicking the shutdown button there. Okay, once your machine is, set, is shut down, uh, go ahead and select it, click this little snapshot button uh, by clicking the snapshots tab here, click the snapshot button. We're gonna say vanilla install. Say fresh vanilla install of Windows 7. Say okay. Okay, great. So now we have our fresh install of Windows 7. The next thing we're going to do is the guest editions. This should be quick and easy. Uh, just go ahead and select your virtual machine you want to boot, the Windows 7 here. Click Start. You notice it says Aborted there. Um, I really, uh, I'm not sure why the Windows, when you shut them down, they they have that. It might be a bug with uh, VirtualBox, but everything seems to be okay so far, even though it does say Aborted. So we're going to let the machine boot, and then we're going to install the guest editions. All right, great. So once you get to this point, go ahead and log in. We'll close those. Okay, so once you're booted up here, go ahead and go down to, uh, go up to devices and click insert guest editions CD image. Then what you need to do is go down here to your bottom left, click the start button, and then go to computer, double click your uh, CD-ROM drive, and we're gonna run the VBox Windows Editions installer. Select yes. Okay, you'll notice it opened it up here. Click next, and go ahead and proceed with the install. Okay, click install. All right, make sure Reboot Now is selected. Go ahead and click Finish. This is going to reboot your virtual machine now. Okay, once you're rebooted, go ahead to the screen over here. Type in your password to log in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demonstrate what happens after you install that guest editions. Before I had shown that the screen was not resize, but uh, Let's go ahead and see if that fixed now. Great. So you notice that as we resize our virtual machine, the resolution of our virtual machine gets resized automatically. So that's going to be helpful. Let me show you why. We can actually now go up here to view, uh, switch to full screen mode. And now on my Macintosh, it looks like I'm running a full Windows 7 machine. Now I'm able to really install anything I want on this Windows 7 that comes on Windows 7. It is a full-fledged Windows 7 box. So this should be pretty helpful. You can run you know, different types of environments, machines. So the, the next thing we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and exit out of this, shut down, and we're gonna create a snapshot. Okay, great. So once we, uh, once we, we have shut down our Windows 7 virtual machine, go here to the snapshots tab. We're going to select current state and click that snapshot button. And we're going to call this guest 
additions installed. And it's a short description here. Installation of guest additions on Windows 7. All right, great. Well, that about wraps it up for this screencast. We appreciate you watching and listening. We hope you're able to get situated and uh, set up with Windows 7. Uh, the install does take a little while. We fast forwarded most of this, but um, it should serve you pretty well. We're gonna continue on with this. We're gonna continue to build virtual machines uh, in future screencasts, so stay tuned. Also, feel free to link up with, uh, with us if you have any questions. Our community site, OSS, ossys.com slash community. Also, we are on Facebook and Twitter. If you notice here on the screen, facebook.com slash open source and twitter.com slash open source So feel free to reach out to us there if you have any questions. As always, thanks again for watching and we hope to see you soon.